Hello to all my friends out there. And so this is how to stockpile food that you're going to eat anyway. You know, not food you're going to put in there in the back room for when things get really bad, but food that can be eaten every single day. Okay, number one, oatmeal, which is good because you can make oatmeal, but you can also make granola and you can also uh, make oatmeal cookies. And then milk. Um, I like this one. As soon as I, I drink this, and I always like to keep these because they're pretty much indestructible. So here is one of the cookbooks I sell on eBay. Ah, uh, the books are not doing too well. <laughs> okay, here is a good granola recipe. Uh, nothing, nothing crazy in here. I used to make um, oatmeal cookies for my son, and I'm using my uh, free trip for a bookmark. But I used to make um, oatmeal cookies for my son and I would load them down with raisins and everything else I could think of. Sunflower seeds and then oil and, and uh, honey. Uh, honey is, if you're just going to stockpile one thing, honey can be used on sandwiches, in tea, and uh, for making bread. You've got to have some kind of oil. Okay, then you want to stockpile flour. What you want to do is you want to be able to make bread. Sugar. And I forgot to take the yeast out of all things. Oh, no. Where is that? Oh. Yeast and uh, salt so you can make bread I buy these at um, Walmart but they have them at the 99 cent store only so okay uh, you don't want to run out of bread because then you can't make any sandwiches you can't make any any uh, bread and gravy you don't want to run out of bread a lot of people are going without bread voluntarily um, I'm not 100% sure if that's such a smart idea. I say cut down if you're eating too much. Okay, so you want bread, flour, yeast, salt, and sugar. Then you want peanut butter and jam. So you don't have to go too far from the bread to get to pancakes, to get to muffins, to get to... Biscuits, you know, I have been, you know, doing a lot of those. Okay, now here is something I just added. Jerky. Okay, let's say if something comes up and you have some jerky, I buy it when it's on sale. And so if you guys have followed me, you have heard about this. Here, where is the picture of him? The Okay, I will tell you who's telling this story. It's the sister of this little guy right here. See him? Our provisions began to grow low. One day a herd of buffalo ran past, these were the pioneers, and the men of our company shot two of them. Such a feast as we had when they were dressed. Each family was given a piece of meat to take along. My brother John, who pushed at the back of our cart, used to tell how hungry he was all the time and how tired he got from pushing. He said he felt that if he could just sit down a few minutes, he would feel so much better. But instead, father would ask if he couldn't push a little harder. Mother was nursing a baby and could not help much, especially when the food ran short and she grew weak. When rations were reduced, father gave mother a part of his food, so he was not so strong either. When we got that chunk of buffalo meat, father put it in the back of the hand cart. My brother John remembered 
that it was for part of the week and father said we would save it for Sunday dinner. John said, I was so very hungry and the meat smelled so good to me while pushing at the handcart that I could not resist. I had a little pocket knife. I cut off a piece or two to each half day. Although I expected a severe whipping when my father found out, I cut off little pieces each day. I would chew them so long they got white and perfectly tasteless. When father came to get the meat, he asked me if I had been cutting some off. I said yes. I was so hungry I could not let it alone. Instead of giving me a scolding or a whipping, father turned away and wiped tears from his eyes. Okay, so I added beef jerky. You never know, it might save your life. Then I added nuts and uh, dry fruit. The dry fruit I usually um, I usually have is raisins. Those can go in granola. Okay, then I buy meat 99 cents a pound. Whether it's like a small package, a, a small package of um, sausage from Dollar Tree, or chicken, or even pork chops, I get them 99 cents a can. Potatoes, sweet potatoes, and rice. I buy a big bag. Um, they have huge bags at Smart and Final. That might be practical if you have a huge family. Fruit and. I try to get the vitamin C fruits, but you know, uh, the mixed fruit is good if you don't have that much because then you have a few different assortments. And then vegetables, some kind of, uh, uh, the mixed vegetables are good because see, you get everything. Some kind of green vegetables and then corn. All right, now let me give you the hummus recipe. Maybe you don't want to spend $5 on hummus. You can make your own hummus. And then I have one more recipe. Uh, maybe you don't... Okay, I made fondue for my bread, but here is the, uh, the good recipe. Okay, what I did is I just melted two pieces of cheese and some milk. This is a good cookbook. Okay, and then I have one more recipe. This is all you need for good bread. Okay, you guys, God bless you all.